I have my reusable shopping bags with me and a quarter, which must mean I'm at Aldi. Is it Aldi or Aldi's? Like, would you say I went to Aldi's or I went to Aldi? Did you ever add the S to it? Uh, I grew up in Indiana and remember going to Aldi maybe it was like the 90s like all throughout the 90s and it was always this like I remember it being more like a dented can store or we would buy like smashed bread or like crunched box stuff and then I hadn't been to one in like 25 years uh and maybe a year or two ago they started popping up all over Arizona uh and it's much fancier I did remember to bring my quarter but we're gonna go check out and see what I can find in Aldi for a carnivore diet before I go in, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Element. Element is an electrolyte drink mix that I throw one of these in my big water every morning. I like the unflavored version because it literally just contains sodium, potassium, and magnesium, and that's it. I actually got a sample of another leading electrolyte brand, like a really popular one that I see advertised all over the place, and I was looking at the ingredients, and this packet has 11 grams of sugar in it, and I don't think a lot of people realize that and they're throwing this in thinking that it's helping them stay hydrated but it's just tons of sugar um, and that's why element was created it was created by people who understand a keto paleo low carb diet because they eat that way as well and they realize that we want electrolytes and we don't want a bunch of carbs and sugar in it and no junk and no fillers and so they created element the flavored versions are sweetened with stevia. Uh, my husband swears that the citrus version takes just like Gatorade, but no sugar. I don't know anybody who's not a fan of the chocolate one. If you wanna try all eight of their flavors, you can get a free sample pack with any purchase if you go to the link that's in the description, or you can just go to drinkelement.com slash Laura Spath. And thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. Let's go see what we can find. My first stop is always right in the front door. They have these Del Real meals. We get the carnitas, uh, the barbacoa. The ingredients are clean enough for me, but these things would be um, really easy to make on your own if you were wanting it to be even cleaner. I really just like having these on hand for times when I haven't meal prepped anything. I need a quick weeknight meal after jujitsu for the kids. We'll throw these in a cheese shell, make some tacos, super simple. Aldi actually has a great variety of jerkies and quite a few that have no sugar in them. These Archer Farms beef sticks, rather the regular or the jalapeno, are really low in sugar. Uh, and then they also have some biltong, which typically doesn't have sugar, and then these zero sugar sausage sticks. They're a lot cleaner ingredients than the Tillamook ones that you can see in other stores. So these are a good option for our family. I'm going to grab a bag of these. Anytime you see biltong, check it out because it typically is lower sugar than most jerkies. Pork rinds are the perfect scoop for taco bowls or if somebody's in need of a snack in our house. I always just check and make sure they're not fried in any kind of oil. Traditionally, um, it's just pork and fat. So just check and make sure there's not any kind of like weird oils. And then also usually if there's a kind with seasonings, check the ingredients because they're probably full of junk. The best part about Aldi is this massive cheese section. For being such a small store, they have a huge selection of like really awesome cheeses. These little meat and cheese packets are so cute. If I was gonna pack the kids lunch for some kind of field trip uh, or if we were gonna be away from the house, they're a great option. If I was building a charcuterie board, <laughs> Aldi is the first place that I would go. They have so many cute meats and cheeses, already pre-cut, so many different varieties. I love the Havarti, white cheddar, different kinds of feta, so many of my favorites. We use this Parmesan cheese pretty regularly for our Parmesan pork, so I'm gonna grab some of that. 
I love goat cheese on top of my steak or even just eating it with pork rinds. Super sharp white cheddar, my fave. I personally cannot handle anything spicy, but I definitely will be grabbing these next time my mom comes to visit. And then this time I'm gonna grab some of this uh, queso fresco cheese and I'll crumble it up on top of the carnitas and barbacoa that I bought. Aldi is one of the few places that carries bread cheese, which is literally just cheese that you then can cut into strips and fry it up like a mozzarella stick. But apparently it's a seasonal item and they only carry it in like the spring and summer, so they don't have any this trip. The next best thing are these halloumi style cheese fries that I'm gonna take home and throw in the air fryer. Typically when you hear halloumi, it's a goat cheese and it's brined with like some Greek flavors and seasonings. And bread cheese is typically a cow's cheese, but this is more just, they call it halloumi style. So it is a cow's cheese and there's no brine with it. We're gonna grab one of these and then when I get home, I'll throw them in the air fryer and I'll show you what it looks like. Have I mentioned how awesome the Aldi cheese section is? <laughs> I could do a whole video on it, but we're gonna move on. I'm gonna grab some cheese wraps for the meat that I grabbed and also some of these egg life wraps for tacos or sandwich wraps. Really love having these on hand. I'm gonna grab these chicken sausages to try. Typically for breakfast, my kids have sausage, eggs, or bacon with some fruit or yogurt. So we're gonna give these new ones a try, but they had a lot of great options that were really clean. There was a pretty big variety of spices and even some sea salt grinders. The only thing I grabbed from any of these internal aisles though was some ghee. I'll use this for cooking in a cast iron skillet, but mainly for our griddle outside. I typically don't buy a lot of meat at Aldi. I would get it at Costco, Walmart, or a grocery store when it's on sale. I do appreciate a lot of the options and I found some good stuff today. Uh, they have these individually wrapped steaks in a bag. I would stay away from anything personally that's top sirloin or this sliced sirloin tip. Things that are sliced really thin tend to be really tough and I try to avoid them. This tri-tip though looked really marbled, perfect. It was only $7.49 a pound, so that was a great deal. I grabbed one of those. They even had some prime steaks if you're looking for a way to splurge and then ground lamb and a lot of different ground beef options, which I do appreciate. I didn't buy any of that today, honestly, just because I can get it cheaper at Costco or Walmart. These sliced pork belly strips looked awesome. I'm grabbing those. And they had a lot of really great pork options. This half pork loin, I've shown how you can cook that in a lot of different ways. That was a great price. This little baby pork butt would be perfect for a couple of people in the crock pot or the smoker, or if you just wanted to meal prep. All these pork chops were super thinly sliced. I would rather get the pork loin and slice them a little thicker myself because I think they would stay more juicy that way. I've been saying this a lot lately, but chicken thighs are the most underrated meat. I eat them several times a week right now. I'm definitely on a chicken thigh kick. Uh, and then chicken drumsticks are another really affordable way to get in some extra fat. We actually have been cooking some whole chickens lately too, and that's been a lot of fun to try something new. I'm not a salmon eater, but it was cool to see that they had so many salmon options. Lots of really good bacon options that were pretty affordable. Uh, I'm all stocked up on bacon from getting it at Costco lately, but I am gonna grab some of these sausages for the kids' breakfast. Chris and I have been married for 10 years and he's never drank coffee until recently. He discovered the chocolate element in this cold brew is his favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna grab him one of those. We love pre-made burger patties simply because of the convenience, but just make sure whenever you're buying them, check the ingredients. Sometimes there's seasonings, oils, or fillers that go along with them. These, the only ingredient is beef. 10 bucks for this whole big slate. There is no such thing as too many chicken wings. They feel like such a treat to me. I love having them. I have them multiple times a week. Aldi had so many fun seafood options, mussels and scallops. Uh, I love shrimp. It's probably my favorite and most affordable of all these options. And I just throw it on the side of my steak. The minute I do, it makes the whole meal feel more special and it makes it just feel like a treat. In the past, in the cooler section, I've seen boxes of bacon wrapped shrimp. We love those. I've put them in the air fryer to cook them. Uh, and today they had bacon wrapped sea scallops. 
I am so intrigued by this whole lobster in a box. I, I didn't buy one, but I totally should have and tested it out for all of us. I apologize. It was only 11 bucks. Okay, here's my total haul. I have pork belly, burger patties, sausage. The tri-tip was a great meal for our family with some chicken thighs and chicken wings, like all my main proteins. I got the carnitas and barbacoa for quick weeknight meals with the egg life wraps and the cheese wraps. I can make some tacos out of it. I got breakfast options for the kids of sausage, lots of cheese and dairy. I grabbed the cold brew for Chris, uh, and then a few little sides and snack options if needed. Ghee for cooking on the griddle. Like I got all my bases covered. Total price for this entire haul was $136. And considering the ghee itself was 10 bucks and those microwave meals were each $10, like that's a great price. If I had gotten a carton of eggs, then that would be enough food for our family for probably four or five days. Add a little ground beef and some pork loin. You've got a whole week of meals. I'm home, the groceries are unloaded, uh, everything's put away, and now I'm gonna cook up some of these cheese fries as a little snack to show you how they look. I will say I have opened some of these bags before and the whole thing is like crumbs, so be careful not to smash it on the way home. But this one, they're actually like decent fry pieces for once. So I'm gonna cook some in the air fryer and then I will do some in a skillet and I will show you the difference. One other thing to note too, when you open the bag of cheese, it actually smells kind of bad. Don't throw it away, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it just is like a funky smelling cheese. Here is the final product. The ones from the skillet are nice and skinny and kind of the same shape that they were. The ones from the air fryer puff up, look. And they're more like fluffy. Um, a little bit crispy on the outside and then not quite gooey on the inside. They puff up a little bit. So they're almost not quite hollow, but mm, very good. And the ones from the skillet are crispy and buttery, obviously. Mm, it's so much richer. You're gonna get all that butter on it as well. Mm. This is my favorite side dish with like, give me a good fatty steak, put some butter on top of it and have one of these, and this is like the perfect treat. Mm. Okay, I better save some of this for somebody else. Hope this video was helpful. Let me know if there's any other grocery stores you want me to hit up, recipes you want me to show you. Thank you for supporting this channel. Hope you guys have a great day.